Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to part two of the auto dimension in sketch mode power moves. Today we're gonna get a little bit deeper into this functionality and show you some other great ways to save time when you're sketching in SolidWorks. Ow! So we're gonna pick up here right where we left off in the last video with auto dimension in sketch mode. I'm gonna press the S key to begin the line command. And if you're not familiar with the S key, be sure to check out my power moves video on working with the S key. I'm gonna single click on the origin and move over here because I'm gonna be trying to create this shape, this L shaped part. So I'm gonna come over to a width of 120 and then I'm gonna come up to a plate thickness of 12. Now, my goal on this end of the part is for the vertical segment of the L to be 25 millimeters wide. Well, something that's pretty cool about auto dimensioning in sketch mode is that you can utilize basic arithmetic in the input. And what I mean by that is I can type in 120 minus 25 to give me the location of this vertical line. And similarly here, the max height is 65 minus 12. I press enter, I move over until I'm vertical to the origin, and then I close off that shape. Now I can press escape to get out of the line command and I can single click on this dimension. This will wake up the dimension grip, which I can then drag to the desired entity. That way I've still got the design intent that the customer indicated. Similarly, I can single click on this dimension and drag the dimension grip, boom, leaving me with exactly the customer intent. So from here, I'm gonna press the S key, I'm gonna jump into the extrude command, and I'm gonna make this thing 65 millimeters, and I'm gonna right mouse button and make that mid plane. If you haven't seen my video on right mouse button and extrude end condition shortcuts, be sure to check that out. That can also be a huge time saver in SolidWorks. But when it comes to auto dimension in sketch mode, there's another really useful function, and that is working with arcs. So I'm gonna make this horizontal line 40. I'm gonna come back and touch the end point, the line arc line shortcut, and then I'm gonna let go of my mouse and I'm gonna type in the radius of the arc. So anytime you're working with arcs in SolidWorks sketch mode, you can also utilize auto dimensions to create the radius of that arc on the fly. So now that I've created the shape, all I need to do is align the center of the arc uh, to the horizontal to the origin, and I'm pretty much done with that sketch. It's nice and fully defined. I got my length, I've got my radius, I'm good to go here. So I'm gonna jump into the extrude command again. I'm gonna give this thing a depth of 10 millimeters, and I'm gonna right mouse button, reverse direction, and right mouse button to finish. Another cool thing that we can do with the auto dimension in sketch mode is we can jump into the circle command. We can wake up the center point of this tombstone and you can see here that we can let go of the mouse and type in the diameter of the circle. Once again, we have quickly created a fully defined sketch that we can now turn into a cut extrude. This auto dimensioning of diameters is one of the biggest time savers that you will see in SolidWorks. So you definitely wanna learn how to use that auto dimension for diameters. I'm gonna right mouse button, go up to next for that end condition. And I'm gonna finish this thing off by clicking on this face, beginning a sketch and orienting my view. Now for this final feature, I'm gonna create a rectangle and with the rectangle command and auto dimension in sketch mode, we'll see that we can use the tab key to advance between the two dimensions. And if we leave one of the dimensions blank, we'll see that SolidWorks will simply omit that dimension as a driving dimension in the design. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a rectangle at the end of this part starting up in this corner and moving down to this lower edge, you'll notice that the sketch relationship for coincident is waking up. Then I'm gonna press the tab key because I, I don't need that 65 dimension. It's driven by the underlying value. And I'm gonna type in a value here of 25. When I press enter, I'm happy to see that my sketch is fully defined because that coincident relationship was automatically added to that lower leg. These are some of my favorite ways to save time when you're using the auto dimension mode in sketch mode, but let me know if I missed any. Let me know what some of your favorite modes are down in the comments below. And of course, let me know what you thought about this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, please subscribe, please share this video with your fellow SolidWorks enthusiasts, and I will see everybody in the next episode of Power Moves.